hello again, good citizens of the YouTube world, please. You know what I mean. Right, as I said, we're going to get on with the jukebox. Let's do that. It is time. Right, just to, just an update, really, try and bring you up to date. Um, the plan for this particular build is to get the jukebox done, as we've already established. So I'm also hoping time dependent of course to get some detailing into the uh, diner some posters and some boards and some menus and start really making it look the business so don't hold me to that but uh, that's what we're going to try <laughs> So again, as you've seen, this is where we've got to. Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing spunning. All I've done is uh, cut this half circle out and pushed it back in itself and then glued it into place. So in theory, that will be um, the basis for the jukebox in actual fact. Um, so I'll probably have an inset here, maybe something printed just so it can it looks like it's got records in it or something so that's where we are and it's time to move on okay then he said it again anywho this <laughs> is a, a load of greeblies uh, i've been through all my collective bits um this will eventually be at least part of the, <laughs> of the jukebox Oh dear, just some bits. Of, oh, that's not all oh, that might do. Oh, that could be all right. Well, we'll see. So we'll make a start. Okay, um, just a piece of cardboard. Um, I'm going to use, or hopefully, um, I'm going to use to wrap around this edge to give a nice even curve. <clears throat> On the um, Coke machine, we did the same. I started from down here. So I might work sort of. I don't know, try and wrap the whole thing. Um, we'll mark it out, have a look, see, if, see what fits and take it from there. All I've done is mark the centre line here. And after doing the measuring, I know that the width of the jukebox is um, six centimetres. So, I'm just going to mark this out. <coughs> Excuse me, and draw it out, of course. And then I'm going to put it out. Mark it out, write it out, put it out. We'll see how we're off from there. So we've got it all marked out. Let's get it cut out. We'll see if it fits. It could fit there or thereabouts. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. Oh, it reaches 90% of the way. I'm happy with that. Okay, so that's that cut out. It's it looks should be okay. A little bit notched there, but again, it won't be noticed. So it should just fit. Beautifully, that's nice. All around. Like it's like that. Super. We need some now. All we need some now. All we need now is some glue. Oh, I better get that done. Okay, so just put some gorilla glue around the edges there. It's a bit messy. Now that's glue. Just gonna. Just gonna, I'm just going to tease this all the way around and hopefully put my last detail on there just to hold that in place and get two on. I hope we've got a little bit of wiggle room. Position things. That will be nice. Let's get it all nice and smooth. Lovely. 
I'm going to do now is wait for that to dry. Have a nice even edge. Be nice. Oops. <laughs> Okay, so this is where we are. This is nice and dry now. So there were very slight gaps um, around the edges. So all I've done is I've filled those with some regular filler, um, which is pretty much that. In fact, exactly that. Uh, it's from our local pound shop in the UK. Um, oddly enough, it's a pound. I do. Uh, it dries quick and it is dry nice and thick because it's a proper fix and grout. It's like a grout. <coughs> that you put your uh, tiles in your bathroom. So it, it's designed for filling cracks. Okay, so that's based on the window sill and the sun um, drying out. So uh, I think we're ready to go. Let's start putting all these kajagly bits to actually sort and work out what we're going to do, if at all. With all these lovely bits. Let's see if we can come up with something that looks like a jukebox. So just judging by what we've got here, shape-wise, possibly something up there. It could even be most more likely to be actually something there along those lines. <coughs> um, these, I think, I'm definitely going to use for feet on the bottom. So I'll put those to one side. I don't know where they're going to go. I need to sort, um, I'd like to put something over that actually, so I mean these are actually for maybe it's hair. So I thought maybe we could get something along those lines, just move this out of the way. And these are from a child's toy, in actual fact. Maybe, oh, that might just work out, don't we? On the front of the dew box. Hmm. Well, it's very possible, I think. <coughs> now, I don't know if I'm gonna use these. Possibly, again, just for decoration. I'll work something out with that, maybe. Possibly even that. Yeah, probably all those together. Just for pretties. Hmm. I'll have to work out what to do with those. I'll give some thought and I'll come back to you. Okay, one thing I do need to do, if we're going further, put a bottom on this. Just got a bit of scrap. Oh, that's almost perfect, not quite. So what I'll do is literally just draw around it. Oh, I'm just going to get away with that. That's perfect. There we go, just for a base. We'll get the cutting mat out and we'll get that cut. Okay, so we've cut that out. And that will just fit nicely on the base there I think. So I'm actually going to angle the front of this I think very slightly with the knife and then we'll get the hot glue on it and get that attached. I decided in the end not to angle the front so I just didn't think it would look right. Anyway that's now on there. Lovely. Do I want to do with the bottom of that now? <laughs> anyway, that's that bit done. Moving on. So, once again, we've had the filler out, filled around the edges. Just got to wait for that to dry now. I don't want to put the heat gun on it um, because with the foam board, if you put the heat gun on for too long, um, the glue that holds the paper on top of the foam board bubbles up and it'll just be a mess and we'll have to start again. Okay so we're all dried out that's nice. So what I thought we'd do was start as we did <coughs> um, with a base colour. So we're going to paint it red to complement the 
coke machine, I think. Clearly, I'm going to add coke. I'll just do it as we go along. But, uh, for now, we'll make a start. Okay, bro. After several coats of paint, I think we're about there. Obviously, a lot of this is going to be covered up with uh, additional detail anyway. Um, I've moved over this side because uh, these um, short days and early nights are closing fast, so it's got dark already. So we're back onto artificial light, hence the shadows. Hello. <laughs> so that's that bit done. Move on. Now it is, of course, at this point in the video. Again, I'm very conscious of the fact we're already up to 12 minutes and all we've done is paint it. So, uh, we'll pry it on a little bit more, but it looks like it's going to be finished on the next one. I hope not, because I want to get all the detailing done, as I said. But for now, here we are. I'll do it again. Okay then, this is where we left off. So, obviously we've got the skeleton or the structure for the jukebox we created before and as I showed you I've created this so it is basically a, 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 a basic outline really <coughs> of the controls for the jukebox itself so I'll probably put that on there and now using all the, the greebly bits and bobs I found before there's a wonderful box of goodies, I've no idea what we're going to use. Some of or all of these parts, possibly. Um, I have to just lay this out and get a kind of idea of some kind. Not that, actually. And um, probably won't use some of these bits. Well, it's not 100%. Won't use some of these bits, so I'm going to use those for feet. I have decided that, that's for sure. Uh, most likely, put these on just for decoration, and possibly that. Again, just for just for pretties. Um, I'll have a look at that, study it, and I'll come back. Okay, so there's no point in painting this base unit because obviously it's not going to be seen. But what I did think I would do is start off with putting these feet on. So we'll just get those glued on. One in each corner, obviously, four of, four corners. And we'll come back after I've done that. Okay, so I've just glued the four feet onto the bottom of the unit itself. Um, please excuse any kind of squeaky noises you can hear in the background uh, as the 3D printer is actually running while I'm filming this, which is just behind me. So uh, if you can hear, uh, I'm sorry about that. But they're on. Give those a second to dry and we'll move on to the next section. That will probably drive me mad. Okay, so I have decided, I think I'm going to do it exactly this way. So the control for the selection of the records on here and this for the decorative centre just below there. So as long as I'm going to attach these together then I'll get those sprayed up because I think we're going to have those silver just to do a nice contrast. I can't do it chrome because I can't produce chrome. So we're going to spray it silver 
and hopefully that will still look the part. Okay, so here we are a little bit later, <laughs> not by much. And there we are, the four feet are on the bottom, nice and dry. Uh, this isn't quite dry yet, so it's been sprayed to match the rest. So that will pop around about there. Let's give you an idea. There you go. Just a personal design. Now the, the cross section uh, you saw earlier looks like a little propeller. I've now um, painted black. I'm just waiting for that to dry. <clears throat> it also probably pop in there. Again, all purely for decoration. Might use this. Not necessarily there. Put it in there. And I'm going to try and incorporate this little I don't know what it is or where I got it from. It's a little bit of plastic that appears to be like a, like a chrome finish. Uh, if I can incorporate that, I will do. I don't want to clutter it and make it look too overwhelmed by it all. So, so we'll go with that and wait for paint to dry, quite literally. Right, what I've done is I've got a, a photograph of a Wurlitzer uh, jukebox from the 1950s, and obviously, this is the idea inside what we've got this half moon here so all i've done is i've printed that out and the, the idea is i'm going to cut that out and actually glue it in there so it looks like we've got all this nice interior inside our jukebox okay the other plan is i think i've got grapes or strawberries in this i always save these bits of plastic because it's really nice to look like a piece of glass so the idea is obviously i'm going to duplicate this in the glass and then we can add that on the front and again it will look a little more authentic. So there we are then. One print, one shiny plasticky thing. Obviously put those together and get those put inside the jukebox. So there we go, and that's what it looks like. I think it looks quite good. Happy with that. Moving on to the next bit. Okay, so now, have some glue on the reverse side of this unit. <coughs> so we're just gonna line this up, hopefully carefully. I don't want the glue to splodge out everywhere. I'm just using some Gorilla Glue, it's really quite strong, but it sets quite quickly, but not too quickly, so we do get an opportunity to reposition if needs be. So that's that. Well, just leave that to dry. Another step forward. We're actually starting to get there now. So this is where we are at the moment. Oops, sorry about the reflection there. So, just to give you a rough idea what it's going to look like. The dry, the dry is not quite glued yet. <laughs> the glue is not quite dried yet. Pretty enough to stand up and show you that. There we are. I've attached that, I've put a little bit of colour on there. <laughs> Looks like an X-Men. <laughs> it's an X-Men jukebox. And of course that's drove me bonkers, so I've had to colour that. Not quite finished yet, but it will be. So that's where we are so far. I've got the printer on the go. So we're just printing um, a small grill, uh, which will go here. We'll go across here, and this, there's uh, an upright on either side, just for decoration. So uh, that's going to be about an hour. So I'll come back to you then. Okay, so you can see me. Hello. <laughs> well, we're waiting for that to print and things to dry. I'm just going to cut a thin piece of um, this board. What I might do, in actual fact, do it lengthways. Just 
the idea is I should put a little bit of a trim around the edge of the jukebox just to get a bit of a shine, a bit of a chromey look Let's try that and see how we get on There we are, nice and steady. So we'll have a look at putting that on. So just for ease of access, a little dip on the super glue, just to anchor the first section. I'm going to try really hard not to uh, become a part of it. <laughs> just, uh, and super glue, that's quite easy to do. And then what I'll do is I'll run this right around the edge, gluing it as they go, just in sections. And hopefully it'll look really nice from the front. Yes, I got carried away, put two on, just to make it look nice. I think it's a lot better, a whole lot better with two nice chromy type stripes on the front. So we're sticking with that for now. So this is what it's looking like so far, and yes, I got carried away again. Put this little silver trim across here, right the way around the sides. But it's time to lock the part now. Just waiting for the grill to finish printing, which is here. And we'll get that put on. Get it painted up rather, and then put on. And we'll see what we've got from there. So this is what it's looking like so far, and yes, I got carried away again. Put this little silver trim across here, right the way around the sides. But it's time to lock the part now. Just waiting for the grill to finish printing, which is here. And we'll get that put on. Get it painted up rather, and then put on. And we'll see what we've got from there. And we finally made it. The jukebox is done. We're finally here. I'm quite happy with that. Very original. Little speaker grill at the bottom. Let's get some super sounds out of that. Right, so once again, back at the diner, just looking through the new door, which is now framed out and looks really nice. So here we are in the empty corner and it's time to fill that empty void with our newly made jukebox. It should be lovely. Just fit right in there. Absolutely marvellous. Fills that corner a treat. So now all that's left to do is a little bit of detailing. But before we go ahead and do that, let's just have a little quick look around the diner. It's been a long project. I've enjoyed every minute of it. I hope you have. We're almost at the end of it. Everything's in place. All we need to do is a little bit of detailing on some signage, I think. So this is all the signage. And the posters for the diner, they need to go up on the inside. Obviously, the menus, the 50s signs, these two are actually going to go on the outside. The rest on the inside. Obviously, the exit signs above the doors. I can't wait to get these put in. Nice and simple, nothing complex about them at all. Simple piece of foam board with a printed picture on the top. That looks smashing, I think. Except for the exterior ones, which are 
wood surrounded because obviously they would be outside. So I'll pop those in and then we'll get some, a final look, I think. My, 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 we have been busy. We're almost at the end. So before I show the final reveal, as it were, <coughs> uh, the, there are a little bits I need to touch up <coughs> in and around the diner, uh, which I'll probably do at a later date. <coughs> but for the most part, it's done. The diner is finished. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Um, new projects to come, uh, which we'll get a, a beginning of next week, uh, so you'll see. So for the moment, the diner is finished, as I say. I've really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed your company. Thank you for coming along this long journey with me to, to get it sorted. We've made it up as we've got along every single inch of the way. So on a final note, um, don't forget to press the like button. That really helps me out. Guys, you wouldn't believe how much that really helps me out as far as YouTube's concerned. Um, ring the little bell so you'll get notifications. Like I say, if any further or oh, guaranteed dribble um, coming your way, um, you, you can always turn that off later if, if this is too much dribble. Yeah. So I'd appreciate that for you. Great to listen. Stay safe, all of you. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Like a family tree Bring the funk back. back, back.